Hey yo, what's faxing with y'all, man? It's your boy Mizzy Slate from the fifth hour. I ain't talking to y'all in a minute or whatever the case is. Just give me y'all update on Mizzy, man. Mizzy Slate, man, has officially chose to be a Christian. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm gonna tell you something about Christianity. You know what I'm saying? You have to live it a day at a time. When you used to doing so much sin, you used to doing so much sin. So when you change your life and you become a Christian, it's kind of hard to get used to. But in your heart, you know it's right. When you do wrong, your heart, your feelings will tell you that that's wrong. Like you can feel it like this is wrong. When you're doing right, your heart and your feelings will tell you you're doing right. You know what I'm saying? Give me your update. And like me, I finally got the microphone. I hope it worked. I finally got the microphone, man. So I'm just trying out this video or whatever. But let y'all know, like, you know what I'm saying? Be better than yesterday. You keep striving. Always put God first before anything that you do. You know what I'm saying? Um, life for me, I'm not saying it's easy at all, but I know where I need to go. So I choose to go in this direction. Even if people don't agree with it. I'm not on earth for people. I'm on earth to get to heaven. You know what I'm saying? We all got put here. And we got to figure our way to get back to heaven. You know what I'm saying? So I was <laughs> about to say something, but I got to watch what I say. Um, <sighs> My bad. I still be spitting. Because they say uh, mucus is the number one cause for disease. So you got to spit them out. But, uh, yeah, man, just want to do an update video, test drive this, let y'all know my update on how I'm living. I'm doing great, you know what I'm saying? Everything good. Just trying to be better than yesterday me, the same way y'all should. Um, learning life, you know what I'm saying? When you don't get taught how to live life, you got to learn life your own way, right? Right. So it's like, yeah, so been praying every morning. Reading the Bible every night. I ain't been to church in a minute, but uh, I'm going to get there tomorrow and just keep going. But I had to let go things, you know what I'm saying? Like me, I had to let go to smoking, had to let go to drinking, had to let go to popping pills, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm giving y'all my testimony. Like, I don't want to hide anything from y'all. And uh sex as well like because at the end of the day i'm trying to be the best i can be now i ain't gonna say that you can give it up and then everything will be kosher it's just like you have to take it a day at a time because if you got at least like 17 to 20 years of doing something it's, it's not easy to let them go overnight but <sighs> with jesus anything is possible just know that and me let me tell y'all something, man. When I first gave my life to Christ, I was smoking weed. I, I was in the car. I was, Lord, you know, already, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Going out O's and all that. I'm ready to get my life for you, God. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to get all this up for you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's how I was when I first gave my life to God because you come as you are. You don't, when you come there trying to do it on your own and then go to God, it ain't going to work from what I'm taught. So what I'm taught is you go to God while you're doing what you're doing and God will change you over time. And that's what happened with me in my case. Even with the music that y'all see on my YouTube page, that's Christian rap. I'm, I'm rapping the way I want to rap. I'm just keeping it. I'm a <laughs> metaphorical rapper. Just trying to have a Christian message behind it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, I don't know. I don't know what else to say, man. I just say, man, put God first. Give your life to God. The way this world is, it's the only way that's going to save you. Like, 
I done lived, man. I'm 34 years old. I, I lived a long time. I lived over a century, G. That's a long time, man. At least uh, three decades and half a decade, almost half a decade. That's a long time, G. But I, I put out the message, you know what I'm saying, to anybody. Think positive before you think negative. Strive for the best. Be better than the yesterday you. Uh, take every situation and make the best out of every situation. Even if you had a job and you want to get paid $3 an hour and a minimum wage, I don't know what minimum wage is in there. I think it's over $8. I don't know exactly, but take a, a minimum wage job that was $3 in this day and time Work that job until you get in a better place. You know what I'm saying? Because when it come to God, God will push you where you need to be. If you pray and ask God to give it to you. But I realize for me, it's a serving of like I serve you, I pray, I ask, I get what I get. But it don't make sense for you to ask and you're not living for God. If you're living for the devil and you ask, it don't even make sense. How are you going to live for the devil and then ask from God what you need? Ask the devil what you need. He not he going to give you what you need plus what you don't need. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, the devil don't get you nowhere because the, 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 ain't no progress in that. Proper preparation for support performance. Get your life on point with Christ. That's how I did. And I ain't perfect. Every day I have to live this. Because, like, I have, like, 200 to 400 videos and music. I deleted all of them for my love for God. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever your method is, is your method. But don't sit here and go off of the people. Because... You have to be yourself. Like, if you go off another man's blueprint, you'll never be yourself, so you're always a fail. You know what I'm saying? Pre prepare to fail rather than fail to prepare. And when you prepare to fail, it's like you're doing everything you need to do. You might fail, but... It ain't like you ain't did everything to prevent that. Rather than you just go out here and you just fail automatically. You know what I'm saying? Stay strong. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Yeah. So I want to let y'all know, man, me, I used to be like, I used to be on drugs, pills, weed, drink. I used to gangbang. IGD 974. Used to be proud of it, too. Throw the signs up and everything. Nah, I'm about to change, man. I got a son now. And before my son, I made a change. You know what I'm saying? I used to be a player because women all around the city. I'm a woman now. I'm a proud of my woman. I don't want to cheat no more. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, friends. I used to hang out with people. They ain't got the same intentions I got. Like, if I talk about God, they don't want to talk about that. But if I talk about how good this woman is and the big butt that she got or what she can do, they want to talk about that. Or if I talk about going out and just fighting and doing some negative stuff, they want to talk about that. But nobody want to talk about the positivity. And we all got kids now. So it's more important in everything to lead your kids in the right direction instead of the wrong direction because we are kids of God. God, God set a blueprint for us to, to go in the right direction instead of the wrong direction, right? Right. I'm just saying, putting it out there, man. In Jesus Christ's name. But, uh, just give me y'all update on Missy Slay from the Fizzles, you know what I'm saying? I'm still fly like I always am. Yeah. <laughs> that on <don't> chain. <clears throat> I love to be fly, man. That ain't no sin. I love to be fly. Every time you see me, I'ma look good. 
it was a fly. It just came by after I just said I was fly. Don't that sound crazy? On oh, ten. <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, facts in, facts out. Live life without judgment. Ignore the whispers in public. Always do you, no matter who hated it or loved it. Hope y'all take this message and apply it to your life and become better than yesterday you. You know what I'm saying? Or better than yesterday y'all. Excuse my language. You know what I'm saying? In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Peace.